to my channel it's ruby talks so in this video we are going to discuss um what did i study in canada how much did it cost where did i study from so let's just dive into the video so guys talking about me i studied uh, from concordia university i completed my masters in information uh, system security in in december 2020 so i came i came in may 2019 um and i graduated in december 2020 so it almost took me around one and a half years to to complete my masters so um guys talking about my masters uh so there are two types of masters in concordia university so either you can do a thesis based or you can do a coursework based so for me i did coursework based because in thesis you need to find a professor and then your professor should agree um uh, agree to you know uh take you as a student for the thesis and then you need to defend the thesis so that's a long process and sometimes you can take over 2 years i mean depending on you but in coursework it's pretty straight forward you just uh, take some courses um do those courses write some exams and you are done with it so guys uh, for concordia for for my masters um so i had like 45 credit program that i needed to complete and every subject has four credits so basically we do 11 subjects and a seminar so for me um usually i used to take two subjects but for one semester i took like three subjects so two subjects taking two subjects it is is a bit easy but if you like take three subjects then it just becomes a little bit hectic because you need to also manage your part time and maybe you need to go to gym or i mean you need to go out with friends so i mean uh, two courses work better than three courses always yeah so yeah guys talking about the cost so for me uh the cost uh, the, my master's cost around $30,000 and along with that i mean you also need to pay for your uh pay for the rent for the groceries uh, so i think rent and groceries are managed by the part time that you do but uh, you know the studies should be i mean for me my 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 studies were financed by my parents so guys uh, when you come uh, to canada you are like worried i mean how will you integrate among uh, in the universities you might be confused like where to go for the services and all those things so guys we have this international student organization uh, which helps you in you know setting you up so you get a student card you know how to get a student card library card um how, how to get a quebec permanent code and there are also walking tours Uh, so at Concordia we used to have the walking tours as well. So the international student organization used to take us on walking tours, and we uh, roamed around the Montreal, seeing different places. Because for sure there was like a, a year before COVID, so I mean they did a lot of activities like that, and. Yeah so guys i mean wherever you go in whichever university you go always find this international students organization page because they help you to deal with a lot of stuff i mean they can also help in counseling as well if you feel homesick um because the thing is i mean when you when you are in canada uh initially you would feel excited but there comes a point where you feel homesick and maybe alone or something so i mean you can all always talk to counselors at university i mean they help you a lot and uh, talking about that guys i mean one more thing i want to mention is how did i get into into the program so guys for me um the the requirement was that i need to have a four year degree uh from 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 my country so so i did a bachelor's in computer science from india and then i also worked as as a software developer for one year uh, in india as well so guys i mean my academic and my professional work experience both of them counted towards getting me in, in admission at concordia university and also you need to give a ielts exam as well so guys for me uh, my ielts were uh, seven i i guess seven bands yeah that time so yeah so all these factors will help you in getting admission at concordia i mean it's not that competitive but yeah but you still need to have a uh, relevant academic and maybe professional work experience as well depends on your case and 
There's one thing I wanted to tell you that in Concordia, um, we do projects every semester. So every course that you take, you need to do a project along with it. So you also need to do the coursework, but, but you also need to do a project. So for project, you always need to find a group of people, uh, like four or five members in your team. So I think like uh, projects were really helpful in, in, in getting to know other people, because in masters, you find a lot of a uh, lot variety of people and how to deal with difficult people. I mean, you learn a lot of things like time management, dealing with difficult people, working in a team. And these all things add up in, you know, um, add up in giving you experience that you can use in workplace as well. Yeah. So I think uh, attending Concordia University was uh, a good decision of mine. I learned a lot of things. I learned how to you know, I mean, I learned the North American education standards and I would say like teachers are amazing. Uh, they, they have a lot of knowledge. It's up to you if, if, if you are like very, very ambitious and you wanted to do like um, research or something. I mean, it's a very good university as well. So you learn a lot. And guys, I think the job opportunities are pretty good after after uh, your studies as well. So for me, um, when I graduated in December 2020, then I got internship at SAP as as, as developer intern. So yeah, and from then uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting more and more opportunities. And I think uh, everybody after attending Concordia University, if they do the relevant course and if they have the relevant experience, uh, the job opportunities are pretty good. And talking about Montreal, Montreal is very lively. Uh, the people who are coming to Concordia will, will, will enjoy it a lot. And yeah, before COVID, it was very, very fun. But yeah, since when the COVID started, it just, uh, everything just got dull and gray. So yeah, um, that's that. And I think those were the points that I wanted to mention. If you guys have any problems or any questions that you want to know, uh, feel free to put, put them in the comment section. And guys, I'll see you in the next video.